Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. I would like to introduce to you a new functionality in the Microsoft list or SharePoint list, a new form. There's now a possibility to do branching. So uh, this is a new icon that appeared. As you can see, we have a designer. And if we switch to the branching, we get a, a menu where we can edit just like we could do in Microsoft Forms. So let me demonstrate, first of all, the final um, solution, and then we can uh, go back and see how I did it. What I will do is I will copy the link and present you actually the final um, form, and then we can see how uh, it works. So I took a template of the travel request uh, from the templates, and I added a first question that says, is it a business trip or private? If I choose private, it will uh, take me to the last uh, question uh, that says, so we, we don't support the service, and then I can submit. You can assume that there's much more uh, uh, columns there. So if I switch back to business, now I get much more uh, columns that they can choose. Now, if, for instance, if I choose that uh, that the airline, for instance, is uh, Southwest. I will need to enter the Southwest uh, frequent fly flyer. So as you can see, it adds additional column to that. On the other side, if I choose uh, Emirates, it will take me through and uh, I can do all of the possibilities. So let's see how we do it. This is really cool. So. Um, by default, when we go to the form, it's like that. You can add um, all kinds of columns and uh, organize them and decide if it's mandatory or not. Um, so as you can see here, I switched to the branching. And here I said, because it's a choice uh, column, uh, I for each possibility, I said, if it's a business, just continue to the next one. As you can see, there's uh, all kinds of possibilities, either to go to the next, to go to the last or the end of the form, or to choose um, to go to one of, or to skip to one of the other columns. So in the first case, I said for business, just continue. If it's a personal, just go to the end, I could do it, or I, I chose um, just to, to add a new uh, column. Uh, just to give some information. Now, if I continue, you can see for each one, I can choose if I want something. Um, I scroll down, and here in the airline, I said, if it's Air Alexa, Alaska, then uh, go to the end of the form or go to the last uh, column. If it's Southwest, then go to a new column, which is called Southwest. Actually, here I could give a better name. Um, and actually, uh, if it's anything else, it will just uh, skip to give the estimate airline. <clears throat> so actually here, um, this is what I did. And you can do lots of things that can um, make it very nice. Um, if it, it would be nice if you could, based on a value to say, if it contains, let's say, something, then uh, do something else. Here, you need to specifically uh, uh, refer it. But maybe it will come. Uh, this is a major uh, improvement. Uh, just notice that when, when we're in a branching, it's not possible to uh, def uh, mark or um, what is hidden or not. You see, it's not supported. We need to go back to the uh, designer. Here we can choose if we want to add in. Now, uh, in an additional video, I might do a comparison between the Microsoft Form branching and this. But it looks very, very similar. And it will give lots of flexibility uh, for future forms. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And enjoy, hopefully, when it rolls out to your tenant. Goodbye.